What's up, Jabrini Simmons here? Welcome back to yet another reaction. Today we are hopping into Doctor Who, episode number four of the David Tennant specials. Hopefully, it's a great episode. Hopefully, it's a lot of fun. Hopefully, you've been enjoying the series. If you have, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Patreon for the full reaction, uncut, unedited. Episodes extra early over there if you want them. If you don't want them, totally cool. Episodes here whenever they show up. So, uh, yeah, this is the ending of uh, the specials. Before we move on to season number five, uh, with our boy David Tennant here. Hopefully, it's a great episode. Hopefully, it's a lot of fun. Um, I've enjoyed these specials a lot. I think they've all been really, really good. I don't know how they worked in the timeline. I don't know how, if it was that the, they released these and kind of like pushed off a season or something. I don't know what happened here, but most of them have been pretty fun, pretty good. Um, I don't think there's been a bad one in the bunch. Um, I think probably the worst one, and it's still a solid eight to me, is the last one. I thought it was, I, I liked, the, I liked the, the Planet of the Dead one, and then I love the Mars one. And I thought the last one was the weakest, but it was still really good. So, um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I ended with the master coming back and I thought that, I think the master is actually a really good villain. I loved his whole, like his demeanor, his, his, um, uh, his cadence is all really, really cool. And I love the, I mean, the concept of him being everybody might get annoying. We'll find out. I don't know how that's going to go, but nonetheless, hopefully it's a lot of fun. Um, I guess I don't feel great, so hopefully I'm not too nasally for you guys, but let's have some fun. Like, comment, subscribe. Pretty much. Ooh. Oh my god, what? We're gonna find out about this? This is after I read out to the war? destroy whatever we just destroyed who are you i was lost so very long ago contact at last nothing can get in or get out except something that was already there the signal since he was a kid they can follow the signal they can escape before they die and step away from the wheel as an old earth saying captain a phrase of great power and wisdom and consolation to the soul in times of need. What's that then? Panorzy! So obsessed. Oh no 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 no! Wait wait. For you to, for him to get out, you have to stay in. You weren't there in the final days of the war. You never saw what was born. But if the time lock's broken, then everything's coming through. Not just the Daleks, but the Scarrow degradations. In the final days of the war, I had to stop them. Then, take me with you, Lord President. Let me ascend. Choose your enemy well. We are many. What the fuck? He's to blame, not me! Oh. The link is inside my head. The link is 
is broken. Back into the time war, Rassilon. Back into hell. That's all we have to do. Get out of the way. Oh my God, he's helping. You did this to me. All of my life. Oh, the master took your place. Essentially, right? The master took his place. If the master's dead. I'm still alive. <laughs> wait, what the fu No, wait, who's that? Who just knocked? Can't get out. I, this thing seems to be making a bit of a noise. All five hundred thousand rads about to flood that thing. Oh. <laughs> well, you better let me out then. Except it's gone critical. Oh, he's gonna die. You had to go in there, didn't you? You had to go and get stuck. Oh yes. Cause that's who you But me I could do so much more So much more But this is what I get This is gonna die But it's not fair Wilfred it's my honor. Better be you gotta quick. be fucking kidding me, dude. Still with us? Your system's dead. I absorbed it all. All things kaput. Here. Oh. Safe and sound. Okay. Okay. Hey. Is his hey. reward seeing all of them one last time? Oh. They are gonna kill him. You're gonna explain it, everyone with a different face. It's you. <laughs> Was she happy in the end? Yes, yes, she was. Who's this? Do you relate it to? To you. Thing is, I never carry money, so I just pop back in time, borrowed a quid off a really lovely man. Jeffrey Noble, his name was. Have it, he said. Have that on me. Late now, I've missed it. Yay! This is, what I this is your fault. No, it's not. <laughs> it's Jimbo. He said he was going to give us a list, and then he said his axe got broke. I can't help it. Get rid of him, Mum. He's useless. Listen to you. Maybe it's time he went home. Yeah. Anyway, happy new year. And you. 
This be four in May. What year is this? Why me? How much have you had? 2005, January the 1st. Where are they, Matt? 2005. Tell you what. I bet you're going to have a really great year. Yeah? See ya. They're going to kill the doctor on a fucking special. They're not even going to give my man another season. This is some horse shit right here. I don't want to go. It's like really powerful this time. Wait, maybe he doesn't. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe he does. I don't, know, I don't know how I feel about this episode. Um, I loved a lot of things in it. I didn't love the overall episode. I liked the episode. Um, I liked the episode and loved moments. I kind of want to give it a nine because that ending made me feel emotional as fuck. Um, several times. Um, I love the master ultimately helping. I love that essentially what kills the doctor. Um, we were worried about the master with the knocking. It was, no, he will knock and it's the old man. Um, ultimately, the doctor poisoned his body, saving the, um, the old man. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, like I'm in, I'm in the nine range right now. Uh, I didn't love, I guess I didn't love the beginning or stuff in the, I didn't love a lot of things in the episode, but I, I loved a few things a lot. Um, a lot of moments were really good. Uh, the ending I thought was great. Uh, great build. Doctor saying goodbye to everybody. I thought that was awesome. Um, it does suck the way that he said goodbye to Rose though. That suck. Only way that you could have because Rose is in another dimension or whatever. Um, all right, well, we'll break it down now. We'll go through it. Um, so we start off with, with the Time Lords. They're back trying to think of how to get back. I guess they've been trapped in this like time lock thing. And the only way to get back is with something from this world that's in the outside world that you can kind of signal or lay a signal with. Master has us captured. Ultimately, he um, got what he wanted. He's and he's going after Donna. And Doctor Smiles, you know, gave Donna a fall safe in case something went wrong. It, like to essentially protect her. Um, these green dudes came back. They helped us out. Tried to escape. Um, we end up escaping and going to, to a ship. They can target us, so the doctor takes out the ship or turns off all the power. While that's happening, a diamond was sent through time, and it was kind of got to be like the signal that kind of um, relay and open this relay to get us back, get the Time Lords back. We found out a lot about the Time Lords in this special in this episode, and I'm very curious about how people feel about the Time Lords essentially not being good, being bad. Not bad, but pretty bad. Um, we never found out who this was. I don't get it. I thought the, the doctor was going to re say, like, reveal that that was, like, it's his mom or something, but we never got, we never got that answered. And I don't know if we ever will. <laughs> it just kind of ends, and when the, um, when, when old man Jenkins here, Mott, ask, um, Never really get an answer. It's interesting, right? Hmm. Um, all right, so you know, doctor's giving herself a speech about death or no, this isn't a speech about death. This is just a speech about 
him trying to give him the gun and then the doctor not wanting the gun and it's just back and forth about if the doctor needs to do what's right essentially kill the master get us back then there's like this um this message or he's talking to everybody through open wave and essentially says that something came through the doctor's like oh my god the time are coming back which he kind of is freaking out and everybody's kind of they're all asking wait you said they were dead you said they were dead and he's like well they've been stuck so they've been pretty much dead and it's this whole confusing thing where like the time lords are part of this war and they changed and they're different and the doctor doesn't doesn't want them back and he attempts to get to the thing and essentially stop them from coming back so we're making our way back the doctor falls into the building master thinks he's thinks he's won several times uh the whatever time lord that guy was whose name is um name uh, lord president he essentially changes everybody back talks about what's gonna happen the doctor's trying to explain to the master the master's Still, you know, wanting the praise. It's like, well, I did this. It's, it's my my doing. I get the credit. It's just this awesome back and forth between all the characters or all the the time lords, right? And he's about to kill the master. Then the doctor gets involved, pulls out a gun. And there's this weird moments of the doctor going back and forth between who to kill, and both of them are the link. And then the master's trying to get him to kill the um, president. And it's this whole very confusing thing right ultimately what the, the doctor just shoots the machine which is also a link which is odd that they chose to do it that way but um the master then decides you know to help and he kills the president or does something to destroy the link get us back to get everything back the way it was because what was coming through was everything everything from the war everything from that planet everything was coming back but this was a great moment. So from this point on, I think the episode kind of became amazing, like great. Um, I mean, this stuff was all pretty good too, but I think from here is out, the doctor's like talking about he's alive. Oh my God, he's alive. He can't believe he's alive. And then you hear the knocking and the doctor realizes what's happening. And it's like, oh no, fuck. The doctor, the person that's going to knock four times isn't the master. It's, Wilford knocking ultimately I love the speech that Dr. Gates he goes here about you're not even important I'm important all this stuff and then he goes gonna do it so sacrifice himself says that you know when he goes in there all this radiation and stuff is gonna go into him he saves the guy doctor doesn't die there which gives you a false sense of oh, okay he might be okay and then the doctor knows and we see kind of him going Say goodbye to everybody. Find out Martha and our boy Mickey got married. Awesome. Doctor saves them. Doctor saves uh, the boy. Doctor gives Jack some, some happiness in the moment. Um, who is this? What, who are you? Verity Newman. Who's Newman? I don't remember. Who has the last name? Doctor. Dr. Newman. Sydney? I don't know who that I don't know who that's supposed to be. I feel like I'm missing something. I don't know. Related to somebody. I just don't know who. This is the one person that we visited that I could not tell who it was. Um Somebody that we knew from the past. And she was a little girl. And then we go see Tadana's wedding. We give her a lottery ticket that's going to win. Um, this moment here where uh, uh, Wilford is crying. And he he knows. Because I'm guessing the doctor was, would have told him. But he knows he's dying. And then the doctor wanted to see Rose one last time. And... Rose, of course, we know is stuck in another dimension. 
So we can go see Rose. We can go see old Rose, like young Rose, before she met the doctor. Because the doctor can't go to the moments where, um, where he's existed. So then get the singing up to him, the music, and everything about to go into the ship. And then the last thing the doctor, David Tennant says as the doctor is doesn't want to go. Does he say it? Does he ever say it? I don't want to go. The last thing. Ah, fucking A. The last thing we hear him say. David Tennant as the doctor. I don't want to go. And then we get introduced to the new doctor. Who, I mean, it took me a while to love David Tennant. Um, I'm assuming it's going to take me a while to love this guy because I'm so used to David Tennant. So we'll see. Uh, but yeah, that's the episode. So, like I said, I'm in the verge of giving it a nine. So I'm right there. Uh, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Patreon for the full reaction. Uncut unedited episodes extra early over there if you want them. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to get out of here and I'll talk to you guys later.